Saturday morning on Five Live with Christian O'Connell. A red button service from the BBC. Call 0500 909 693. Text 85058. Email Christian at bbc.co.uk. Christian O'Connell at the weekend on Five Live. Hey, good morning. It's Christian O'Connell on Five Live. Big show today. Uh, we'll be keeping you abreast of what's happening in Libya as well with regular updates this morning between now and 11 o'clock with Fighting Talk. Joining me as ever on the show, we have Lindsay Hipgrave. Good morning. Hello. And also Chris Smith. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. First of all, uh, before we tell you about today's show, uh, we are available on all of the platforms on the Red Button today. Is this right? We are. We're on Sky Virgin, Free Start, Free View. Just go to BBC One, press the red button, yep. and then you can select Christian O'Connell Show. Good morning. And then you'll see in the studio with our lovely brand new Five Live cushions. Now, I've not seen these before. <laughs> um, they weren't here last week. Um, it's kind of what like are a, they? a fake Saturn cover with the Five are Live they flame logo on it. They don't even look safe. That is a material. Material I've not seen no. since I had a Return of the Jedi duvet <laughs> cover. <laughs> like the stuff that your plimsoll bag used to be That's made it. out of. Yeah. Isn't it? Have you demanded these? Yes, I have. Yes, it's on your rider. Yeah. yeah. On uh, today's show, then uh, we got some uh, brilliant guests here this morning. John Bishop's going to be with us in about ten minutes' time. Ewan Amos, of course, is a fantastic, brilliant uh, stand-up comedian, but he's also in this uh, new movie, a Ken Loach film uh, called Root Irish. And John is very good in it. It's a cracking movie. Uh, after ten, the big guest today is another brilliant comedian. Uh, uh, someone who you'll, you'll see a lot more of this year. You might have seen him already. as Mr Gilbert in The Inbetweeners. Uh, brilliant stand-up comedian Greg Davies is going to be in. And as the Six Nations reaches its big finale today, especially out in Dublin tonight, sadly Will Carling uh, rejoins us. Uh, well, you've got um, some unfinished business. So, you something too, you're not looking forward to after the ribbing you got last week. Well, we tried to get some uh, like a rugby legend on, but sadly it's only Will that's uh, around this morning uh, <laughs> with nothing else to do. So Will's on at uh, quarter to 11 this morning. And there will be another thrilling edition of of our rubbish general knowledge quiz. The highbrow, lowbrow quiz will be here at half nine and there's nothing any of you can do about that. <laughs> OK, uh, so uh, we can get in contact with the show today. I thought with Greg coming in, Greg Davies is a stand-up comedian now. Uh, he used to be a uh, he used to be a drama teacher, 12 years as a secondary school drama teacher. And uh, now he's a stand-up and now he plays a drama teacher in a... You know, he plays a teacher in a drama. So I want to know... When you were a kid, what did you want to do when you became a grown-up, an adult, and what are you doing now? My first memory was coming from, was watching the TV, and I used to love The Professionals. Oh, great, yeah. Starsky and Hutch were mainly the American playboys, but the real bad boys was Bodie and Doyle. I don't know which one was Lewis Collins. Was that Bodie? I'm not sure. Was, was he the one on the left? On, to be honest, that was a guess. <laughs> I've got a Chris, 50% come on. chance of being right. It was Bodie Doyle and, and Mr Hudson there, wizened old butler. That's right, yeah, yes. I remember something, it well. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> wanted to be a vet, not, not just any vet. I specifically wanted to be James Herriot. I didn't like that kit, that show as a kid. It was just, like... it was the same episode every week. Well, yes, there it was often, you know, a lot something of... was wrong with a cow, yeah. or a sheep, or a lamb. They didn't trust his newfangled ways in the village. No, we don't need no veterinary. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I don't think it was set in Africa, the Chris. fangled ideas. Mr T was in it. I believe he was. <laughs> but I wanted to be a dancer. What co- then- you have to ask, because you've said this. What kind of... Not some kind of late No, night of course. Girl. Of course but let's- not. <laughs> I probably would have had more chance down that route, to be honest. When I started going to ballet classes with my mum, she literally used to sit at the back of the room with the other mums, cringing, because every time I jumped in the air, landed on the floor, it was literally like an elephant landing there. So um, that, that quickly went out the window. Can you still do a plie for us on the red button? Uh, <laughs> I've got massive boots on. It'll be even more like a pet elephant today. Do you want me to try? Yeah, come on. It'll okay. like stop. It was a bit. This is what I was like as a dancer. What? <laughs> that has that gone is all the way through graceful. to the Today programme downstairs. Just, we just landed on News 24 right now. <laughs>